welcome to our channel. So today we are doing geography of class 7 chapter water. In this chapter you will learn about the distribution of water bodies, ocean circulation in the form of water, tides and ocean currents. So guys now let's start with the exercise of the chapter. The first question is answer the following question. First part is what is precipitation? So answer will be falling of moisture in the form of rainfall, snow, fog, sleet and hailstone is termed as precipitation. Second option is what is water cycle? So your answer will be the water cycle is a process by which water continually changes in form and circulates between ocean, atmosphere and land. The third op option is what are the factors affecting the height of the waves? So your answer will be wind, earthquake, volcano eruption and underwater landslides are the factors affecting the height of the waves. The stronger the wind blows, the bigger the wave becomes. Now, the next question is, the factor affects the movement of ocean water. Your answer will be temperature, wind, gravitational pull of the sun, earth and the moon, warm and cold currents are the factors that affect the movement of the ocean water. Now, the fifth one is, what are the tides and how they are caused? Answer will be, tides are the rhythmic ri rise and fall of the ocean that occurs twice in a day. The strong gravitational pull exerted by the sun and moon on the earth's surface called the tides. Now the next question is what are ocean currents? Answer will be the ocean currents are the stream of water flowing constantly on the ocean of surface in definite direction. Now coming towards the second question which is give reason. The first part is ocean water is salty. The water of ocean is salty as it contains large amount of dissolved salt. Now the second part is the quality of water is detroiting. So your answer will be the water is being used in judicially whatever potable water is available. Its quality is not poured. It is because industrial influence and untreated water of industries get mixed into the stream and rivers. Sewerage water also get mixed into these water bodies. As a result, the quality of water is detroiting day by day. Now. The third question is tick the correct answer. First part is the process by which water continually changes its form and circulates between ocean, atmosphere and land. The first part is water cycle, B tide, C is ocean currents. So your answer will be A water cycle. Now the second part is generally the water ocean currents originate near poles, equator, none of these. So your answer will be equator. Now the third is the rhythmic rise and fall of the ocean water twice in a day is called a tide, b ocean current, c waves. So your answer will be a tide. Now the fourth part is match the following. You can see the rest of the question here. I'll be detailing the answer. So the answer is first Caspian Sea will be connected to a largest lake. B tide will be connected to B periodic rise and fall of the water. C tsunami will be connected to C strong seismic wave. E ocean currents will be connected to D stream of water moving along definite path. So yeah guys this was the exercise of this chapter. If you have any doubt or any query you can tell us in the comment section. We'll be coming up with the next chapter. Till then bye bye.